the Labour Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, has continued to clash with the government over lockdown restrictions for the region. Mr Burnham wants greater financial support if the strictest measures are introduced. He has today spoken with a senior Downing Street advisor, but he earlier accused Boris Johnson of exaggerating the severity of coronavirus in the area. His words were echoed by the senior Conservative MP, Sir Graham Brady, whose constituency is in the region. The Cabinet Office Minister, Michael Gove, accused Mr Burnham of inconsistency in his approach. Here's our Deputy Political Editor, Vicky Young. Waiting for work and waiting to find out what's coming next for Greater Manchester. Taxi driver John says for months the tighter rules here, compared to many other parts of the country, have meant fewer passengers. He's worried about the possibility of even more restrictions. We need help up in the north. If they want to bring these things in, you know, they need financial backing because otherwise it's going to be even worse again. This has been going on for a long time now and nothing seems to be resolved. I know Covid's not just going to disappear overnight, but... People who work, whether it be in pays your own employment, self-employed, businesses, they all need help. Otherwise, you've still got bills to pay. For days, politicians here and in London have been trying to reach an agreement. The region's Labour mayor, Andy Burnham, has accused the government of exaggerating Manchester's rise in Covid cases and says more restrictions must mean more financial support. What we need is a fair financial framework if the governments are going to insist on tier three. At the moment, they're doing side deals with individual councils. So that isn't good enough for me. Let's remember, the places they're trying to close in tier three, pubs, bookies, gyms, these are places where people are, are on low wages. And what we're saying is you cannot take away their place of work and not give them support. Mr Burnham says he hasn't seen any scientific evidence that extra measures would work, but ministers insist action is needed soon. You know, the fundamental incoherence in the position of Andy Burnham is that, uh, uh, on the one hand, as I say, he says, actually, the virus is not spreading at a rate that merits these restrictions, and then he's saying, but actually, I will have them if I have the money. If he were being truly, because, truly because of the concerned about want... public health, then he would say, let's have these restrictions now. And the other thing is, the, I'm sorry, the, the earlier we have the restrictions, the answer in those areas where there is high instance, the better for the economy of those areas, because we stop the infection spreading in a way which will uh, do further damage to the economy as well as to public health. It's not just Labour politicians who are sceptical. Some Conservative MPs in the area have also been speaking out. Manchester is pretty united. Certainly the members of Parliament of both parties, the council leaders of both parties and the Mayor of Greater Manchester have been resisting a move to Tier 3 on the basis that we simply haven't been given the evidence that it would be effective. Rising cases are forcing politicians everywhere into action. Welsh Government ministers met this afternoon to discuss options for a further tightening of restrictions across Wales. The First Minister has said that a short, sharp lockdown could slow the spread of the virus. Vicky Young, BBC News. Let's speak now to our health correspondent Dominic Hughes, who's in Salford in Greater Manchester. And Dominic, what do the figures there tell us of what's going on? Well, Rita, the question I think many people in Greater Manchester might be asking themselves tonight is whether the situation here is grave and worsening with cases doubling every nine days, which is how the Prime Minister described the situation on Friday, or whether the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, is right to describe that as an exaggeration. Well, since the 1st of September, we can see the infection rate in the city of Manchester on this chart, the blue line, rose sharply for the first few weeks, around the same time that thousands of students returned to the city at the start of the university year. But in the days leading up to the 10th of October, it has since declined. Now, over the same period, the wider region of Greater Manchester, the line in red, which includes nine other boroughs, again saw a steady rise. There were a few peaks and troughs, but then it shows signs of levelling off in recent weeks. And if we look at infection rates for the week ending the 12th of October, Manchester was running at 458 infections per 100,000 people. In comparison, Nottingham was at 880, while Derry and Straban in Northern Ireland was at more than 1,000. But in many ways, it doesn't matter how many people are getting infected with the virus, it's how many people are falling so seriously ill that they are admitted to hospital. Now, if a big group of students becomes infected with the coronavirus, they're fit, 
they're healthy, they're in their early 20s, for example, they are unlikely to place an enormous burden on the health service. But it's when people who are elderly or have underlying health conditions start falling ill, well, that's when we're likely to see hospital admissions rising and the health service experiencing the kind of pressures it was seeing in the spring. Dominic, thank you. Let's go back to Vicky Young, who's in Westminster for us. And Vicky, just how far is the government's local lockdown strategy under strain? Well, I think it is. And I think what's interesting is if you look across the United Kingdom, the different approaches that are being taken. We know in Northern Ireland, they've already introduced this four weeks of extra restrictions, pubs and restaurants closing. The Welsh government set to introduce its own short, sharp uh, period of extra measures too. They're likely to make that decision tomorrow. But Boris Johnson is sticking to this local approach. He wants to do everything separately. He thinks it's far more targeted and a far better way uh, to operate. Of course, it is a slow process. Now, today, both sides, Greater Manchester and the government here in London, have said that things have been more constructive. And I do get a sense, talking to both sides, that there is more of a willingness to get together. Now, the Treasury is sticking uh, by what it said previously, that it will only pay two-thirds of the wages of workers whose businesses are forced to shut. So they won't budge there, but I don't get the impression they would block it if extra money was required. Uh, it's not just Greater Manchester. Uh, of course, South Yorkshire tomorrow will have more talks about whether extra restrictions should be brought in there too. But I think politicians of all parties will not be thanked if they can't get together and come up with a solution. OK, Vicky, many thanks. Vicky Young there in Westminster.